Your lymphatic system is essential to your body. It helps you fight off infection or illness, but if this system gets backed up or clogged or isn't working properly, this can lead to swelling, pain or discomfort and can cause other immune system issues. Unlike the arteries in your body which have a natural pump to keep the blood flowing along, your lymphatic system needs other ways to make sure that the fluid is flowing and that everything is running smoothly. My name is Kelly, I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema and cancer. And today in this video, we're gonna go through nine different ways that you can help improve the health and the flow of your lymphatic system. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below to see weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram and you can check out our website for more related content. Compression is one of the most beneficial and effective ways to keep lymphatic fluid moving and out of an area that might be congested. So there are a couple different options. If someone has swelling and they're really pooling or congested, something like a compression bandage with extra padding or foams, or something like a padded compression garment are going to help reduce swelling from an area and get that fluid moving throughout your lymphatic system. If someone doesn't have a lot of pooling, but they wanna make sure that they're keeping maintained and they're keeping lymphatic flow, then things like compression sleeves and compression stockings are a great option as well. There are a lot of different options out there, and so it's good to work with a certified lymphedema therapist in your area to find what may be best for you. But I have put together a lot of my favorite products um, compiled on my website that you can check out, and I will put a link up above or in the description box down below. Another way to help with lymphatic flow is with deep breathing. I think this one is completely underrated. You have a lot of lymph nodes deep in your abdomen and you have lymphatic vessels and channels that run through there as well. If you have swelling or lymphatic backup in your legs, all of that fluid has to go through this abdomen area to get back to the heart. And so by doing deep breathing, you can help stimulate the lymphatic system to make sure that you're activating those lymph nodes and those channels to get the fluid moving throughout. It's one of the easiest things someone can do. You can do it throughout the day. I have another video specifically on how to do this and I will link that up above as well. So for those who've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big advocate of lymphatic drainage for lymphatic flow. Lymphatic drainage can help stimulate the lymph nodes to make sure that they're working quickly. It can also help guide lymphatic fluid through your lymph vessels to get to your lymph nodes and then back to the heart. Lymphatic drainage can be done for any part of the body and it's easy and free to do. Lymphatic drainage is also really nice for areas of the body that might be more challenging to put compression on, like the head neck area, the face area, the chest, or the pelvis or genital areas. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step picture and diagram with instructions that you can print out and have in front of you to do every day, I have those on my website for various parts of the body, including the full body. And I will link that in the description box down below where you can find them on my website. The next way to improve lymphatic flow is with cardiovascular exercise or walking. Pumping your heart and getting things flowing can help with your lymphatic system as well. Like we talked about, your lymphatic system does not have a natural pump to it, so we need to be moving. All of the lymphatic fluid in your body actually comes from your blood, and so making sure that we're encouraging that blood to flow with movement and exercise, as well as getting your heart pumping, can also help keeping things flowing throughout as well. So getting out for a walk, or going for a jog, or biking, or swimming are all great options to help improve your lymphatic system. The next way to improve lymphatic flow is with hydration. When you're dehydrated, your lymphatic nodes will actually swell a little bit, and this swelling can cause congestion and more backup of your lymphatic system. So it's important to stay hydrated to make sure that everything is flowing and flushing through freely. 
We talked about cardiovascular exercise, but it's also really important to do strength training and resistance training. Your muscles activate around the lymphatic vessels and they can help stimulate and pump lymphatic fluid through. And so by activating certain muscles in a certain area, they will help to stimulate that region for lymphatic flow. And so we want to be doing full body exercise with strength training and resistance training to really support the lymphatic system. The next way to help improve lymphatic flow is with kinesiology tape. When kinesiology tape is applied correctly to the skin, what it does is it lifts up the skin gently, and this creates more space underneath the skin in between the tissues, and this creates a pressure gradient change. And that causes the fluid in the area to move into the lymphatic vessels to get picked up and then move throughout the body. So it does need to be applied correctly, but it is a great option for lymphatic flow and lymphatic health. I have a few other videos on how to apply kinesiology tape for different parts of the body that you can find on my channel. Another tool someone can use for lymphatic flow is with a pneumatic compression pump or pneumatic compression device. These devices and pumps will help stimulate and move fluid in a sequential pattern to get fluid moving out of a certain area. And so what they do is it provides compression low or distally away from the heart and gradually compresses closer towards the heart to help guide fluid moving in the right direction. So pneumatic pumps are usually used for the legs, the arms, the chest, or the head and neck area. And they can be a great option to make sure that we're stimulating the lymphatic system and getting fluid moving. And the last way to help improve lymphatic flow is with elevation. Now, in my opinion, elevation alone isn't the greatest option. If someone has moderate to severe swelling in an area, it might be great for someone who has mild swelling. The other downside of elevation is that you're no longer moving, you're usually laying still, and that doesn't help pump the lymphatic system with the other things that we talked about earlier. But it can be a great option for someone who has mild swelling um, when they're in the evening watching TV or doing something like that. They can have that area above the heart and that can help stimulate and improve lymphatic flow back to the heart. Although certain things like compression or exercise are typically the most beneficial ways to help with lymphatic flow, one size does not fit all. Each person has his, her, or their own needs and will need to create a personalized treatment plan for themselves to help with lymphatic flow and the lymphatic system. So you can work with a certified lymphedema therapist in your area and you can also download a free printout with a self-care lymphedema management guide that I have on my website and I will put a link for that down below that you can check out. So those are the main nine ways to help with the lymphatic system and lymphatic flow. If you have any other ways that worked well for you, be sure to share those down below and we'll see you all next week in another video. Thanks everyone.